Hi guys, alright, how are you doing? Welcome to another video. This one is um, one that's gone around YouTube a fair bit. Um, if you watched Steve Benway's video, he catched out the ball rolling, so to speak. Um, this one is Smash TV. Uh, this version is the SNES version, and you might hear the clickety clicks of my um, joystick, because I'm using an arcade stick. Um, my, I'll show you my arcade, arcade stick in another video, but basically this one is pretty cool because you can set it to play it a bit more Smash TV-esque, a bit more twin sticky, but I'll show you that in a bit. Um, so let's start playing. So this one's got pretty much all the speech and pretty much all the gameplay of the original. Um, I was kind of brought up on this version, although I had an Amiga, I also had a Super Nintendo at the time, and my dad got me this game. And, you know, the comparison between the two is, well, it's non-existent, really. This version just destroys the Amiga version. Um, as you can see, it's pretty accurate. You've got pretty much all the sound effects from the arcade game. You've also got most of the graphics. The thing about it is, the, um, the, while the game is, in my opinion, a lot better than most of the other conversions, is because you've got the Mode 7 there, which is absolutely fantastic on the likes of Mutoid Man, the end of level boss. Um, I'm playing this game a lot better than I would play other versions of Smash TV because I've set the arcade stick um, in a kind of twin stick fashion. If you remember, if you know the SNES, you'll know the controller. You'll know that the top there's like obviously four buttons. Um, obviously the top button fires up, bottom button fires down, and so on. And you can do combinations, so you can fire eight ways. So, that makes the game a lot more accessible, a lot easier to play. Great in two player, obviously. The man's are more distinguishable, and um, I got killed, a bit of a thumb death that one. But yeah, the man's are more distinguishable than the other versions. Um, basically, the game is just more accessible, really, because of the control mechanism. I know Mark V had touched upon it in his Smash TV vid, and it was nice to see Electric Adventures do, a master, do the Masters of Invasion. And I am a fan of the Game Gear version, even though it is kind of a bit, it is a bit, weird. Um, I still like it because it's kind of like portable and fun and stuff. But yeah, um, the surprise version is the Commodore 64 version. I actually find that quite playable. So there you go, guys. This is Smash TV, and. Um, I was talking to Steve Benway in his video. What I might do is I might, because I've got a lot of um, Amiga PD discs, you know, um, like public domain discs, and there's a game on there called Smash Telly, and it's arguably a better version than the Ocean game. Um, some people were saying that it was done in Shimmer Construction Kit. I don't think that's the case, because it's got like it's got side scrolling on it as well. But anyway, I'll show you it in another vid. Boom, dead. What is extra life? Go on, my son. There you go. Dude! So, yeah, guys, um, if you want to play Smash TV as near as damn it as you're going to get, then I would get the SNES game. Uh, it's just got pretty much everything that the other versions have got. Some people say that it's a bit crude because the graphics are a bit low res. I don't see that. I really, really don't see that. Um, I'm playing this through composite, like AV. Um, is it composite? A AV, basically. I'm, play I'm playing it through the three, you know, the, yeah, was it the yellow, the white, and the red. So, it's given me a really fantastic picture. Boom, dead again. I'm really, I'm rusty at this game. I need to play it again, don't I? But yeah, um, big fan of this game when I was a teenager. Kept me going for a long time. The challenge of the game, I mean once you get past the third level, the game is virtually impossible in my opinion. But 
you know, that's probably just me being crap. But yeah, um, I love it. And I know that in some of the comments on Steve Fenway's video, that some people were maybe dissing the SNES version. Um, I don't know. I'm each to their own and all that. But I just, I, I don't see, I mean, it's got it all really. It's got the, um, it's got all the speech, it's got all the elements of the arcade game. Maybe a bit more low resi, but I don't see it. It's nothing like the Amiga version. The Amiga version's a little bit, well, I don't know, it's got, it's a little bit plainer, if that makes sense. So there you go. This is hard. Boom, dead. But yeah, guys, um, I only really wanted to do I mean, everybody is doing Smash Telly videos now. And, um, you know, I, I suppose I, I wanted to jump on the bandwagon a little bit because I was giving it large about the SNES game. But, you know, I just think that the SNES game is, is pretty much the ultimate version. Uh, I'm sure it's been eclipsed now by other, I don't know, retro packs or whatever. I don't know. I've not seen Smash TV on any retro packs that I've got. Um, if anyone knows of a retro pack with Smash TV, let me know in the comments. Um, I'd love to be able to get a, a more accurate arcade version. I'm sure they'll do something like that. I mean, they did a version of Total Carnage, right? Well, we'll see. I think this is the bonus game. Yes, it is. Bonus prizes! Money! Big prizes! I love it! Um, so there you go. Okay guys, I'm going to call it a video, um, I think I've played this far enough. don't normally like jumping on the bandwagon, but this particular game is really something pretty cool. And I just wanted to thank Steve Benway because um, he kind of reignited my passion for the game. Um, watching him play it just really sort of brought back a lot of memories. And although the Amiga version is kind of a bit meh, it still is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, there we go. Alright guys, have a good one and see you on the next vid.